today's class we will learn quickly the algorithm and flowchart to check whether a given number is a prime number or not so let's get started first we have to know that what a prime number is a prime number is a natural number that has only two factors one and that number itself and we know that zero is not a natural number natural number starts from one and one has only one factor so though one is a natural number but one is not a prime number and as well as all the negative numbers they are also not prime numbers so prime number has to be positive and at the same time zero and one they are not prime numbers and at the same time we can also say that if a natural number has at least three factors then that number will not be a prime number rather that number is called a composite number and we also know that even numbers they are completely divisible by two so in the list of natural number though two is an even number but still since two has only two factor one and it is divisible by two so two is also a factor but two is that number itself so 2 though it is an even number but this is the only even number which is a prime number so that also we have to remember now in mathematics also when a number is given to us how we check that whether that number is a prime number or not suppose if we take an example like 17 then to check for prime or not prime we will check its divisibility and we know that every natural number is divisible by 1. So we will not start checking its divisibility from 1, rather we will start from 2. Now, if we divide 17 by 2, then what will be the quotient? It will be 8 and there will be a remainder which will be 1. That means 17 is not divisible by 2. Then what we do? We increase 2 by 1, that means 3. And next, we check the divisibility of 17 by 3. So, this time it will be the quotient will be 15 and there will be still remainder which will be 2. That means 17 is not divisible by 3. Then what we will do? We will increase 3 by 1 and that will give us 4. And then we will check the divisibility of 17 by 4 as per normal rule. So it will be 16 and still there will be one remainder. So 17 is not divisible by 4. And it's very obvious that since 4 is a multiple of 2 and since 17 is not divisible by 2, so 17 will never be divisible by 4, 6 or 8 means all the multiples of 2. So accordingly, we can have that logic in our algorithm flowchart or even in our program. So I will give a clue about that logic at the end. But here I am talking about the normal logic that we follow to check the number. Now, when it is not divisible by 4, what we will do? we will increase 4 by 1 so next number will be 5 and we will check the divisibility of 17 by 5 so this time it will be the quotient will be 3 and we will have remainder 2 that means 17 is not also divisible by 5 so now what we will do again we will increase 5 by 1 and this time it will be 6 though it is multiple of 2 but if we follow the conventional logic, then we will go for checking the divisibility of 17 by 6 also. And if it is not again divisible by 6, then we will go for 7, 8 and till which number? Till 16. And why not 17? Because we know every natural number will be divisible by that number. And like 1, that number itself is also a factor. So our checking will go till one number less than the given number. So that means our divisibility for 17 will go till 16. Now suppose if we take another number to check whether that is a prime number or not, then what we will do? Again, we will start checking the divisibility of that given number by 2 and this time the quotient is 9 and there is no remainder. And since there is no remainder, that means the given number is completely divisible by 2. So that signifies 2 is also a factor of that given number. That means this time the number has at least 3 factors. So this is not a prime number, this is a composite number. And once we have come to know that that given number has at least 3 factors, we will not check the divisibility of that number by other numbers which are more so we will stop our checking there itself 
this is the normal logic that we follow and in the program whatever language it is and before that if it is algorithm or flowchart to represent the divisor which starts from 2 and then followed by 3, 4, 5 and so on we will take a variable and the initial value of that variable we will set as 2 and then in every step if it is needed then we will increase the value of that variable by 1 so this logic now we will implement through our algorithm and followed by flowchart so as we know that first we start the execution of our logic so first step in our algorithm is start then we will input the number that we want to check and then as i said that we will take a variable and the initial value of that variable we will set as 2 then we will start all the validations that i have talked about so first thing that i said that prime numbers cannot be negative so the given number that we have represented here by n we will check whether n is less than 0 or not less than 0 means it is a negative number so if it is yes then we will display a relevant message like number is negative and if the number is negative we will not go for checking whether that number is a prime or not we will stop our execution there itself so we will go to step 8 and step 8 is here to stop the execution else we will go to step 5 means the next step and else means if the result of that checking is no or false that means that number is not a negative number rather that number is 0 or positive number but as we know that 0 is not a natural number so that cannot be a prime number 1 is not a prime number because it has only one factor and 2 though it is an even number but it is a prime number so accordingly we should have validation check in our program and if we can have more validation checking in our program then that will ensure more accuracy of our program that means on the other hand less number of logical errors or bugs in real time now in this step what we are checking whether the given number which has been represented by n that is less than i or not the initial value or at this point the value of i is 2 now if the result of this validation checking or decision making is yes or true and true means n is less than i that means if the value of n or the entered number is 0 or 1 then we will display that the number is not prime and we will go to step 8 otherwise if the given number is 2 or more than 2 then we will go to the next step now in the next step we are checking whether n is equal to i or not that means whether the entered number is 2 or not so for 2 which is the only even prime number to handle that we have kept a special logic for that if the outcome of that validation checking is yes then we will display corresponding message that the number is prime and we will go to step 8 again we will stop the execution otherwise we will go to the next step where we have the actual logic of divisibility now as we know to solve a particular problem we can have multiple algorithms so we have to see which one is convenient for us now to manage step 6 where we are checking for 2 this step can also be managed by using counter and by looking at the counter value we can comment accordingly next we will have our main logic of checking the divisibility and as i said that our divisibility checking will start from 2 and that's why we have set the value of i as 2 and if the remainder of that division is 0 that signifies that i is a factor of n that means that given number has at least three factors so that number cannot be a prime number or rather that is a composite number so we will stop our execution there itself and we will go to step 8 but if it is not divisible by that particular value of i then what we will do we will increase the value of i by 1 as i said and then we will repeat that division and if it is again not divisible by that particular value of i then we will keep on increasing that value of i till which value till one less than the given number that means the final value of i here will be n minus 1 and till that point also if the given number is not divisible by i then finally we will display that the given number is a prime number and finally we will stop our execution
now this logic we will see through 2d representation that means flowchart so first the start block then we will input that number which has been represented by n and then we will set the value of that variable as 2 and accordingly we will use the block then what then in the algorithm we have seen that we will check the validation whether that number is a negative number or not accordingly we use the corresponding block so here we are checking whether n is less than 0 or not if that result is yes then we will display that number is negative and we will stop our execution and if the result is no that means number is not negative either it is zero or positive then the flow of our execution will come downwards and there again we will have that validation checking whether that given number n is less than i or not so if the result of this decision making block is yes then we will have this corresponding message that number is not prime and we will stop our execution there itself but if the decision is no that means the number is either 2 or more than 2 and accordingly we will have another validation checking whether that number is exactly 2 or not and accordingly in the flowchart we will have that decision making block if the result of that decision is yes that means that number is 2 and 2 is a prime number so accordingly we will display that message and we will stop our execution but if it is not 2 that means it is more than 2 then what we will do we will check the divisibility by 2 so if the remainder is 0 that means 2 is a factor of that given number and that given number is not a prime number so accordingly the corresponding message will be displayed and we will stop our execution but if the remainder is non-zero that means we will go for checking by the next numbers so we will increase the value of i by 1 and uh, we know that will be continued till n minus 1 so we will have again a special validation whether i is already n minus 1 or not if it is no then we will increase the i by 1 and we will repeat the process of checking the divisibility and when it will meet this criteria i will become n minus 1 and still we will not find any other factor for that given number then that will signify that the number is prime and finally we will stop our execution now this logic can be handled in some other way also like if a number is not divisible by 2 then that number will never be divisible by 4 6 8 or any multiple of 2 so there is no point of checking the divisibility of that given number by its multiples if it is not divisible by 2 and that same logic is applicable for other prime numbers like 3 5 7 so if it is not divisible by 3 then it will never be divisible by 6 9 12 or any other multiple so what we can do once we have checked the divisibility by 2 and if that given number is not divisible by 2 then we can make a separate table where we can store these numbers which we have already checked the divisibility for and there was non-zero remainder so when we will check the divisibility for the next number or for any other number before doing that we will check in that array whether that divisor is a multiple of any of the elements of that array or not so this way we can skip many steps in between and this will be especially helpful when the given number will be a large number like six digit seven digit eight digit or even higher so you can think of that logic and you can implement otherwise this is the normal logic that we generally follow i hope this class was helpful for you See you in the next class. Thank you.